Hi, my name is Mike Cavanaugh. I'm from Cornwall, New York, and I was at Woodstock 94. I, where I lived, it was, uh, I grew up in Cornwall, New York, and I'd heard about it down there. I think we read about it in a paper, but we'd gone to a lot of concerts, so I think we heard that certain bands we like were participating, so we needed to attend. The bands that I was looking forward to was, uh, at that time, Nine Inch Nails was a big one, uh, Primus, um, Metallica, Peter Gabriel, uh, we, we enjoyed all of those, but I, I'll tell you, it was an awesome lineup of music. The memories I have at the festival, well, first of all, my, my friend John, who we went with, uh, his father had a model home that was about a mile from the site. So we had the luxury of sleeping in a room at night as opposed to camping out. Another memory I had was around the uh, Primus when they were playing. There was a huge Congo line. It got so muddy at that point. And I remember the toilets all around them was mud. And you just, at that point, you, you could barely even get to the toilet. So it was a mess. The fences had come down. So that was another memory. Uh, the bands, of course, were a great memory. Uh, Metallica was fantastic. Uh, Nine Inch Nails, just everybody. There was a mosh pit, uh, but people were just so good. And then my, one of my favorite memories was actually after the concert, we had left, I think, during Peter Gabriel because we were exhausted. And we had gotten to the parking lot first. Um, and at that point, it had rained a lot. The field was still grassy, but we had a tough time getting our car out. And then we finally got it out through pushing and things like that. Other people started exiting and we started helping them get their cars out. A bunch of us got together and we, um, we were helping people get their cars out. At some point, pushing wasn't enough because it had gotten so muddy that my friend had to use chains on his pickup truck to pull people out of the mud. And at one point, he had pulled more than one bumper off the car because he, it just didn't put it on right and we couldn't get the car out. Eventually, we had to abandon it, and because it was just too muddy, you couldn't get cars out. My understanding was cars were there for almost a week after the show. Would I do anything differently? I think <laughs> I would have paced myself a bit better. I can tell you when I got home, I was exhausted. I actually had to hose off outside because I was so covered in mud before I could even go in. Um, Maybe that, I think I would have stayed on site instead of having, the, the model room was great, or the home that we stayed in, but the experience of being amongst everybody, I, I, I probably would have stayed overnight there, even I wouldn't have slept. You know, a good friend of mine, Charlie, who um, couldn't do it because his daughter was born, um, he couldn't attend, but I remember just having conversations about just the, how extreme it was meaning like so many people, so many bands, so many just memories of all these different things that happened and everybody just kind of, you know, I, I don't remember a single bad situation that occurred when I was there. People, now it was hard to get food and water and the toilets were a mess, but we all just had a great time. And the rain only added to it, which, you know, oddly enough, it was just more fun. Yeah, I, I came with uh, two other friends and a third one we met there. Uh, Jim uh, Walker, his name was, uh, or is, uh, John Steinberg, and then another guy, James McCullough, who had the pickup truck that was pulling out the people. Um, I've known John and Jim since I were kids. We actually had drinks about a week ago, so we, we still get together. James, unfortunately, has passed at this point, so, uh, um, you know, but the rest of us, we still see each other. We still talk about it. Okay. Did you meet any new people at the festival? And do you, do you still talk to them? We did, uh, who we met at the festival. Some people, uh, repeat the question. Okay. Some people that we met at the festival, during the concert you ran across all kinds of people and you know, you helped each other out in various ways and things like that, whether it was sharing water or food or, whatever it was, getting up on your shoulders, uh, for example, during the, the, the shows. Um, but my biggest memory of people that we met was in the parking lot when we were pushing out. There was a few guys who helped us out and 
we really bonded. I, I, I can't even remember their names, and we never talked again, but uh, we just had the best time together. We have pictures together, uh, which I'm glad we do have. One of my friends uh, had a shampoo bottle that was full of uh, whiskey, which kind of helped us through the hard time of pushing out cars. Okay, I don't know. That's any other experiences that you uh, do? You have any children now? I do. Yeah, I have three. Okay, I have three children. Uh, uh, I'll start with the question first. Yeah, uh, and uh, the, the thing is, is that uh, what? How would you? How old are they? I have uh, three kids right now. Uh, they are now 21, uh, 19, and 17. If, if they were ever asked to go to a festival like this, I, I would tell them to go. I mean, just be careful, but you will have and make memories that you will never forget at something like this, especially if it gets to a place where a lot more people show up and a lot of rain happens and there are a lot of good bands. You will not regret it ever. <laughs> yes. I had such a, I look forward to this interview. I had such a good time at that, that as soon as I read about, I saw an article that said, you know, that you guys were trying to gather information around this. And I was so excited because it brought back so many memories that were so good, that stories I wanted to tell.